Welcome back folks and today our friends over at Eric Hill has sent me an infrared thermometer. This is the Rook 600 SP. Now if you're not sure about what this is all about, uh, in layman's term it's basically almost like a thermometer but obviously it does more air than anything. Now Mrs Crazy Baker's got one of these in her shop and she's had it in this shop for quite a while but not this brand. It's a lot cheaper than this. Let's have a look and see what they've sent over to me. So it looks nice, bit of package in there. So let's have her open and see what it's all about. You do have full instructions. Nevertheless, if you know us blokes, we don't really read instructions very well. There we go, full details of how to use it. But in layman's terms, let's just get her out the box. And examine exactly what we're looking at here. Uh, this does look very good plastic. This is not, this doesn't look like your cheap naffy stuff. This actually looks good quality. Nice display there. Buttons look nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah, never face a gun at anybody. So let's have a closer look at the thermometer and see what the functions are. And is it easy to use or not? So this is how to get your gun functions. Just press this here like this, and that brings up this. And just press your mode button, and that'll take through all the different functions that you've got on here. So that's for carburetting the device altogether. And this mode is for high and low temperature alarm setting. Very useful. That comes up with your maximum and then minimum you want. 80, well that's basically temperature checking. And this one's an interesting one. This is materials. You can have, this will go up and down and in your booklet you'll find different things like bread, freezer, metal, aluminium, and you set that to whichever it would be. Now I've set that to 99, which I think was pretty roundabout. This one over here is your laser, and you can turn that on and off. Then over in the corner there, you've actually got a little light. So that's sort of basically background. But I tend to keep the laser on. And that's easy functions, I think, for anybody. Just straightforward. There isn't much you need to know from this. On the side here, you can see it's minus 50C to 600C. So if you want to change your batteries, you just open it up very simply in the, and just replace them. Nice and neat. To me, that is very good quality. Nice clear display panel. It's not the cheap plastic you normally get with Chinese stuff. So there's the easy part of the thermometer. So let's see it in action. So today I've used it down the bakery. I've used it on several different things. And I've kept it, let's be fair, I've kept it pretty basic, folks. Because I'm a baker and I like basic things, I'm not gonna go OTT with it. You know, I'm not gonna do anything untowards. So specifically, what I thought this was gonna be for was ideally for bread baking, oven temperatures, fridge and freezer, which I believe this is gonna be well suitable. So let's get and have a look and see how I got on with it. This is outside the oven and that temperature is 400 Fahrenheit. So let's have a look inside the oven and see what the temperature is inside. There's the lardies. Yeah, and we're bang on, round about the 400 mark. That's good. So let's see what my water temperature is. Now this is only a guide, by the way. Ah, oh, and that's around about 34 Celsius. Now my flares temperature needs to be around about 18, give or take. Ah, uh, that's 17, that's not bad. Then my finished dough temperature wants to be around about 26 Celsius, give or take. It is only a rough guide, by the way. So let's make some dough. 
let's get that water in and get her started. So that's going to mix for around about 15 minutes on slow speed. This dough's been mixing for 10 minutes now, so we'll just check the temperature. And that is around about 26 Celsius, which is bang on what it wants to be. So it's got another five minutes to mix. So let's see what it looks like at the end. Let's just check our finished dough temperature. And there we go. Just around about 26 Celsius, which is where it needs to be. It's Tuesday, just after bank holiday, and I'm just going to make a record of everything I'm going to be doing. Like I've put on there, the dough temperature 26, flour temperature 18, and the water temperature 34, which is a little bit higher than I need it really, but I'll try that, and then Wednesday I'll try it at slightly lower than that. This is outside temperatures and not necessarily inside temperatures, so I may have to adjust this slightly. I'll only know later on when I finish baking. Well, there you go, folks. Now, what do I think about this thermometer? Let's be fair, I've not had one before, so it's like a new toy to me, but I can see the uses. And I think this is gonna be used quite often. And this is where I'm getting down to the point here, folks. Now, though I've been given this, I'm not saying go and buy one by a long shot. You know, that's up to you, folks. Now, from my point of view, I think this is a really bit good bit of kit. And if you're a home baker and you want to make precise doughs, this is the sort of thing you could do with. You can use the cheap one with a thermometer and you stab it in. But I think if you've got this set up correctly with your home baking, this uh, improves your home baking. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use this for home baking and it's very easy to use so this is definitely something that we should look forward to this is going to make your home baking simple straightforward looking at it this is a good quality item with no shadow of a doubt now i have actually had a quick look on to amazon and ebay now this particular model i believe is around about the 20 pound mark give or take now there is other brands on the market I've not tried them, but this one I've tried and I like it. Now, comparison to my wife's one, which is a cheap and cheerful one. Again, that was around about, if I vaguely remember, that was about 18 quid. And her one is what I call cheap as chips. And I'm going to be honest, it is cheap as chips. It doesn't have the functions that this got. And it does look like one of those, it looks like this, but a knockoff. Hey, so they're, they're out there. So this is going to be a useful bit of kit at home. And I'm going to be using this quite regularly in the bakery and for a home baking. Because I do like to get things a little bit more precise. Because sometimes when I'm doing things here, things aren't quite what I want them to be. And using the thermometer, and especially using this type of thing, will make my life a bit more simpler because I got two ovens here that got two different temperatures. They both say 200 Celsius, and I can assure you one of those ovens isn't 200 Celsius. And this will show me what the problem is. I know what you're gonna say, one's a new oven, one's an old oven. Yes, I know. Now, just remember, if you do buy one of these, they do have a three-year guarantee. Hey, happy days, isn't it? What could possibly go wrong? And if it does go wrong, send it back. You get a replacement, I guess. Or your money back. I think that's fair shout, isn't it? But there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the links because you never know what you're going to find down there. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!